All right, here we are, the moment we've all been waiting for. We've got the Nintendo Switch Lite and we're ready to unbox. Let's go ahead and just start by taking a look around the box, see what they show, and then we'll open it up and check out the console. So we've got the cool Switch Lite art here. You can see we have the yellow version of the console. Uh, down here you have your typical warnings, advisements. It comes with a uh, AC adapter included in the box, which is nice. Nintendo has seemingly learned their lesson from the 3DS days. Up here we have the just the back of the console, which we're going to see soon enough. And then just art on both sides. So it looks like it opens up from here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Get this open. Pull this tab. We've got just our simple plug it in, set it up. So I don't think we're going to need help, but the customer service line is there if we do. And we'll just pull the whole tray out. And there we are, the Switch Lite. Uh, presented front and center, covered by this uh, cardboard tab. We pull it up and there it is, there's the console. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open the bag and take a look at this in a sec. I'm gonna move it off to the side. And it looks like we have documentation, uh, just some standard warranty stuff, and we have the Switch Lite's power brick, which at first glance appears to be the same one used for the original Switch. So we'll set that off. Let's go ahead and look at the console first. Let's move this out of the way. And here we have it. So let's take it out of the plastic. And there it is, the Switch Lite. So, and it is light. It feels pretty nice. It, it's definitely got a lot less heft than the original. Uh, so looking at it, we've got, you know, our analog sticks, which appear to be about the same as those on the uh, Joy-Cons, but the buttons, the face buttons, you've got your Y, X, B, and A buttons here, and those do seem to be just a little bit different. You've got kind of a bigger surface area, they, they definitely feel more comfortable, like they click easier. Uh, you've got your home button with the LED that we've all been talking about since Switch 9.0, the share button and a d-pad a proper d-pad so that's really important and i'm going to take a closer look at this in a second but let's look at the rest of the features of the console first we've got the plus and minus buttons up here and on the top you've got your game card slot you've got the vents which look different you've got your headphone jack right here your uh, volume up and volume down buttons and a kind of a recessed power button so it's a little hard to hit uh, which I think is in line with the original Switch, but I have mine right here. We'll take a look at that in a sec as well. Coming around to the back, you've got just the Nintendo Switch logo, you've got the FCC information, you've got your two vent holes here, and on the bottom we've got our USB-C port, which we're wondering how limited that is. What can and what can't it do since we know it can't dock? And you've got your micro SD port, which is different because there's no kickstand, so you have just this kind of fold open door similar to how the game card slot works. And these, of course, on the bottom are speakers. So with that, let's go ahead and compare this to some other stuff. So we've got the Switch Lite here, and here is my original Switch. And you can see that this thing just kind of rests in its footprint, so to speak. It, it's tiny in comparison. You know, the screen is indeed smaller, but you've, I mean, even everything, the control feels different. And the feel of this device is different too, because you don't have the seams from where the Joy-Cons attach on the back. On the original Switch here, you can see that there's kind of a separation, and that's because the Joy-Con are removable, of course. So, I tried to remove it, and it didn't work. There you go. So, since they're removable, you do feel that seam a little bit. Now, taking a closer look at the Switch Lite itself, those sticks are really, really similar, and I'm going to try to get them up close here, but uh, they appear to be the exact same design that's on our existing Joy-Con, so maybe that means Joy-Con drift could be a thing, maybe not. We won't know until we've used this for quite a while, uh, since Joy-Con drift doesn't really appear right out of the gate. I'm hopeful that it doesn't since these are physically attached to the unit, but uh, we literally just got it, so we won't know for a little while yet. The other thing I wanted to compare this to is I wanted to try the D-pads out. I've got my Pro Controller here, and it's got a decent D-pad. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, 
I like it. I think it's fine. Uh, and this one feels a lot better though. Uh, it's, it's a little less clicky, but it also feels a, little, a lot more comfortable to roll my thumb around. Just comparing it to my... Yeah, there's, there's a huge difference here and it, it could make a difference in fighting games. I'll have to download Street Fighter on this thing as soon as I'm able to try some games out and uh, check it out. We did... I did want to compare the AC adapter as well that came with it. So here's our AC adapter for our Switch Lite. We're going to go ahead and just take it out. We're not going to plug it in or anything. I'm not going to waste your time with that. But I do want to see if it differs in any meaningful way from the one that comes with the Switch V2 or the original Switch. So you can see up here we've just got standard AC adapter. It looks like it's a 100 to 240 volt 5 or I'm sorry. It that's input. Output is 5 volt. Uh, let's go ahead and just compare it and yeah you can see the two are basically identical this is the exact same charger that we get with all of our existing switches so the switch light doesn't have any special adapter or anything that you need so if you've got an extra one or you purchased extras and you're planning to get a switch light you won't need to go hunting for a new adapter and in the box with everything we got Nintendo did include just a little surprise a uh, copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which I know you're thinking, that came out a while ago. And that's kind of what I thought initially, but upon further inspection, I realized that Mario Kart 8 is kind of the perfect game to showcase the Switch Lite. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up while I explain why. Um, Mario Kart 8 is one of the best performing games in the Switch's library when you think about it. It runs beautifully, it has wonderful graphics, it runs at a consistent 60 frames per second with little or no dips, uh, not that I can remember anyway, and it's just a fast-paced, gorgeous game. You know, all of, their, all of Nintendo's other games on the Switch do exhibit some type of performance issues here or there that are forgivable. We, we look past them because the games themselves are utterly wonderful. I, I would have liked to have seen ARMS as an option, just because I think ARMS is another game that is visually stunning, that uh, runs incredibly well. But Mario Kart, it's, it's hard to argue with Mario Kart. It's an evergreen title. A lot of people that are picking up a Switch Lite that didn't buy a Switch will probably buy this game. And, you know, we just got the standard Mario Kart experience. Now, for me, as somebody who reviews games for a living, I never owned this physically. Uh, I have a digital copy, um, so it's kind of neat to actually have this in a case. I love the art, and I've never actually had it. So, And this is an updated version because it calls out Nintendo Switch Online, I think, which I don't believe existed in name at the time that Mario Kart 8 came out. Uh, but I could be wrong on that. Like I said, I've never actually held a physical copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so if I'm wrong, please feel free to call me out in the comments. And that's it. That's all that comes with the Switch Lite. So we've got the console, we got our uh, extra gift of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe courtesy of Nintendo, and we've got our AC adapter. We'll have much more on the Switch Lite as we get a chance to play with it and spend some actual time using it. But for now, this wraps it up for this unboxing of the Nintendo Switch Lite. As always, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for tons more on the Nintendo Switch Lite and all other things gaming as well. We'll see you next time. Bye.